Bill O'Reilly here. Monday, February 21st, 2022, George Washington's birthday. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. The world watches Ukraine. Capitol Police brace for President Biden's State of the Union address. The number of non-heterosexual Americans reaches a record high. Seattle declares some bicycle helmet laws racist. Also ahead, do you fear the mob? You should, but first. CBS News correspondent David Martin reporting Russian commanders have orders to proceed with the invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky pleading with Western powers to punish Vladimir Putin now. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken says negotiations between President Biden and Putin may happen this week in the face of what CBS News is reporting. So it is still confusing. The D.C. Capitol Police preparing for the President's State of the Union Address March 1st. Hundreds of officers will guard the Capitol building. Officials will also bring back the fence. Tactical units from the Department of Homeland Security will protect lawmakers during the speech. The FBI warning a freedom trucker convoy, like the one seen in Canada, could descend on D.C. before the State of the Union. The percentage of U.S. adults who self-identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender, reaching a record high of 7%. That figure was just 3% when Gallup began asking the question a decade ago. 86% say they are straight. 6% refuse to respond. The number of young Americans identifying as part of the LGBT community rising to 21%. Wow. Bike helmets in Seattle no longer mandatory. Politicians there repealing the safety law because it is allegedly used to target minorities. Said one council member, quote, The disproportional enforcement of the requirement gives us concern about how it affects people who are homeless and communities of color. The helmet rule was implemented in Seattle back in 1993 after a string of bike-related fatalities, but now it is racist. In a moment, will the mob get you? Right back. Bill O'Reilly here. It is time we diversify for the new year. Rate increases are already forecasted. Experts say apartment buildings and condominium values are on the rise. I have told you about NRIA. They have substantial properties already built and selling in top markets. They are targeting competitive annualized returns for investors and have a 15-year track record. This is the year to balance your investments with real estate and invest in a solid foundation. So please call the team at NRIA, and you will be very happy you did. 800-800-1414. That's easy. 800-800-1414. Or you can visit them at nria.net. That's nria.net. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA Private Placement Memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at NRIA.net. Time now for the O'Reilly Update. Message of the day. Fearing the mob. And we're not talking about organized crime here. Be thankful you were not a pioneer in America. Life on the Western frontier was brutal. Few comforts, no law, lots of danger. In the midst of that arose frontier justice where settlers dished out punishments to perceived miscreants without much deliberation. Steal a horse, you could be hanged by the neck until dead. Commit a violent crime, termination by mob was common. In many places, the presumption of innocence did not exist. Today, the mob mentality has returned to the USA, driven by social media, where there are few protections. Anonymous trolls can assassinate individual characters, destroy business, and even threaten personal safety. 
Few police agencies have the resources to investigate, and internet companies generally deny responsibility for injustice. The mob knows it can inflict grave damage to people with little risk. Hello, Tombstone. Freedom of speech now being used against the American people. Let us count the ways. Good people who might want to run for office are often dissuaded because they will likely be smeared and their families seared. Few candidates escape that. Organizations funded by ideological fanatics like George Soros incite boycotts against businesses. It's easy. Just put out an allegation and demand a company change policy or fire someone. Corporations often fold quickly, meaning few in the marketplace are safe. Attacks organized on the net can hurt profits and the bosses know it, so better to give the mob what it wants. Amidst this madness, power has shifted. Anonymous character assassins on Twitter, Instagram, other social media are on the march. Due process has been obliterated. Allegations become facts at light speed. Dark money allows dishonest political groups to threaten sponsors and anyone who might hold influence. If you don't do what the mob wants, it could very well come for you. No one is safe. Every public person is just one accusation away from ruin. Corrupt lawyers are lined up to exploit accusations, demanding big money settlements, blackmail, extortion, and defamation, now common occurrences against the social media backdrop. This is our country and society today. Millions of swords, no shields. If you fight back in civil court, the ordeal will last years and likely cost millions. The mob has all the weapons. The result is massive injustice and a rapidly declining interchange of ideas. Most folks fear the mob and flee from it. We are mobbed up in this country. The bad guys are winning. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. If you would like more honest news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com, where we are streaming the Trump O'Reilly History Tour. In a moment, something you might not know. The COVID pandemic has shined a light on the biotech industry and how it can benefit our health. My go-to tech expert, Jeff Brown, angel investor and editor of Brownstone Research, tells me the biotech sector is seeing accelerated growth in therapeutic and tech development, yet the sector is undervalued. So even with the volatility in the economy, Jeff is bullish about biotech in 2022. His newsletters at Brownstone Research will educate you on how the latest technology affects our lives and how to profit from it. It is important to have an independent expert who is accountable only to you, helping to grow your 401k and retirement savings. Get help preserving your wealth. Sign up for Jeff's newsletter today. Please go to jeffbrowntech.com. 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 Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. The global tourism industry suffered a catastrophic loss when COVID hit two years ago. Before the pandemic, 55% of Americans traveled between May and September for a little rest and relaxation. With the virus now on the wane, millions are planning to get away this coming summer. Here are the best places on the planet for nice weather, as ranked by Forbes magazine. First, southern Spain. Temperatures hover between 65 and 80 all year long. The Mediterranean region typically sees 340 days of sunshine, just three weeks of rain. Tired of long winter nights? Head to Ecuador, South America. Because of its location on the equator, thus the name Ecuador, the country experiences no variation in daylight hours. Sunrise and sunset occur 
6 p.m. sharp and 6 a.m. sharp every single day. Next up, the Canary Islands, 80 degrees every day. The country located off the coast of West Africa reports 10 days of rain each year. The islands are particularly popular for divers, underwater visibility best in the world. Tahiti, near the top of the list, a short rainy season, no hurricanes, no snow. 330 days of sun. Before COVID, 10 million people descended annually on the islands for surf, sun, and sand. Tahiti is my pick for the most beautiful place on earth. The second spot goes to Bermuda, often associated with the Caribbean, the British territory. It's actually located 700 miles east of North Carolina in the Atlantic Ocean. Mild temperatures attract tourists year-round, but it will cost you. Bermuda is the second most expensive place on the planet after Monaco. Best weather in the world right here in the USA, San Diego. The town ranks number one in sunshine, low humidity, zero days under 45 degrees. The combination of the Pacific to the west and the mountains to the east creates one of the most pleasant climates on earth. And then there are the Padres back after this. As you know, inflation is almost out of control thanks to the policies of this administration. Retirement accounts are especially vulnerable right now. Because when inflation goes up, your dollar savings go down. So how do you protect your hard-earned wealth? Please call the people I trust at American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts against inflation by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver, and they make it easy. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. All it takes is a quick call, and they will deliver physical gold and silver right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Plus, tell them O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. 877-444-GOLD-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs> 